Hello everyone, it's me ASMI welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the this type of manipulation or like uh, how to change the sky or how to make your photographs more creative. So let's see the before one photo like that but after editing you are getting like that. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So go to the file and open up here the image that is the boy image and this one stock image open it up yeah i downloaded this one from the deviana.com and you can get the download link by checking my video description so after that press ctrl j for the new copy of this layer and at first i'll cut it out by selection the boys that means i'll use a selection tool you can use any kind of selection tool for select the boys so here the quick selection tool i'm using this one is convenient to me so i'm selecting this one you can use your convenient selection tool for the selection you can use the pen tool you can use the rectangular marquee tool or magnetic selection tool or any kind of selection tool which is convenient to you so here select this one and the stone as well so i'll cut it out and separate from the background and then i'll replace the sky and i'll make it more creative so when you're selecting this one be careful don't leave the major area which is important uh, for this image so be careful when you are selecting so after selecting that just go to the selection tool and here the select menu and select and mask when you're selecting this one press the shift button and hold it you'll get the previous refining age menu and the setup will be like that the radius 7.7 .7 is smoothing feather contrast edge shifting and the other stuff so from here here is the options new layer with the layer mask and select this one and hit ok you'll get a new layer with the layer mask and the boy will separate from the background so now i'll remove this one that means this portion so how to do that just select the control button or press the control button and hold it and select the mask you will get the selection back and turn off this and select this one that means the background one and go to the select again select menu and go to the modify and expand make it 30 pixel and hit ok so i'll cut it out from this one that means i want to make it content however and i just make this one delete so how to do that go to the edit options and fill and content aware that means when i am filling this one can continue is that technology or that process the photoshop taking the pixel from the other sides and just deleting this subject from background that means you are getting totally uh, the boy free background so this one and select this one the background layer take a new blank layer or you can take the solid color as well so i'll take a ash color okay that's fine and now select this one and mask it and then go to the gradient options and just mask over it so that means i'm deleting this portion i'll replace sky instead of this background so this sky actually so select this fill color options go to the file and place embedded options so here is the sky just select this one and make it bigger and which portion is perfect just find it out and just select this portion and you can just add that portion hit the tick button press ctrl t again and right press and make it horizontal so make it horizontal so that's fine yeah this portion is good and now bring back that boy so now you are getting like that and then i'll select these three layers make it group and then make it merge so after that i'll make it a little bit blurry so go to the filter and blur gallery from here till shape blur so don't make it more blurry make it a little bit blur so the blur value could be 30 
that's fine or 23 is good yeah and you can adjust the blur levels support blur value of that or now where you are made, making that blur and like that and hit okay you can just getting this type of blur and then go to the file and place a mirror options and now i'll add arts in this portion or you can use in this portion wherever you can use that you can use that and hit the tick button and make those bird into multiply blending mode and opposite a little bit down yeah that's fine so you are getting like that so here i'll refine the edges and i'll make it more realistic so how to do that select the mask and make it and go to the brush tool and select the brush which is the first one brush and make it like bigger by pressing third bracket opening or closing and here brush over here you will get back that grasses and the blurry portion back so here as well here this portion which one you want to bring back just drag over there yeah that's fine and now I'll select these three layers make it group and make it merge now I'll apply the preset which I made it earlier so go to the filter and camera filter this one is the plugins of the Photoshop if you want to get the plugins in your Photoshop use the creative cloud version otherwise you have to install it manually if you want to get the manual download link or manual setup link please check out my video description so here is small menu and go to the load settings options and from here you are getting like boy that is the XMP file and make it open and we are getting like these type of effects and hit the ok button so you are getting the selection you are getting the lights and other stuff color correction like that so now go to the filter again and nick collection and color effects pro 4 i'll use another filter to apply here so which one is perfect you have to find it out and this color effects pro 4 that is another plugins of the photoshop you can install in your photoshop if you want to get the download link please check out my video description so from here you are I'm using here cross processing and lots of methods over here you can use one of them and which one is perfect and convenient to you you have to find it out and you have to use it so I'm using it LT04 and this this one is nice to me and hit the ok button take time to load it up and give you the final output which is like amazing so before one and after one so you are getting amazing look of your photographs so you can make your photographs more creative by using this type of techniques and the process you can follow this type of process and it is really amazing so if you want to get the download link of the plugins and the presets you can check out my video description i'll give all the resource file over there and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am asmr signing out today Bye bye